So we will begin uh, with the Vajradhar lineage prayer on page four of the Golden Book. 那我们从啊黄金色的金黄色的法本第四页传承祈请文开始。
Grant your blessings that our minds become the Dharma. Grant your blessings that the, the Dharma become the path. Grant your blessings that the path dispel confusion. Grant your blessings that confusion arises wisdom. So as usual, when we, whenever we teach or listen uh, to the Dharma, it's important that we first look at our motivation and remind ourselves of the proper motivation or of the good motivation. And of course, as we've spoken about over the last few weeks, there are varying levels of good motivation. You all have a good motivation just, you know, to just shows that you have a good motivation that you have come here. But sometimes things happen on the way when you're here and you may forget, you might get distracted or no matter what happened. And so it's always good at the beginning to remind yourself to have a good motivation, a good motivation to help yourself, to help others, to help yourself and others now, to help them in the next life, to help them achieve lasting happiness. Uh, really the only lasting happiness that we can truly have is the happiness of Buddhahood. All other happiness is temporary. If you're able to develop the wish to uh, bring yourself and others to all ha uh, to that sort of happiness that is wonderful but even if you're not even if your motivation is to ha uh, is to bring yourself happiness in this lifetime that is also a good motivation in any case please look in look inside yourself and check your motivation to see that it is good now 
，我们或许刚开始会保持着好的动机，但是在前往来听法的路上，或许会有一些让我们分心的事物，然后呢，让我们忘记了原原本。有的这个动机，所以在这里呢，我们先提醒一下自己，我们的动机是什么？是为了帮助自己以及帮助他呃其他的人，不管是现在还是未来的这生事，要帮助利益自己以及别人。那要做到利益别人以及自己呢，当然就是为他们带来。无穷的快乐，也就是无止境的快乐。那最呃最就近的这种快乐呢，就是佛果的快乐。所以呢，不管我们是不是呃，如果我们有这种动机的话，希望给他人带来呃为正悟的这种快乐，当然是很好的。但是如果没有的话呢，即使我们是为了自己的快乐、今生的快乐来聆听佛法，都是很好的。但是主要呢，就是要提醒自己有一个好的动机。<咳> So thinking in this way, as we traditionally open a teaching, we say, in order to bring ourselves and all other sentient beings, our mothers who are as limitless as space, to the state of complete and perfect Buddhahood, we must practice the Dharma. In order to practice the Dharma, we need to first study and contemplate. And so, please listen to these teachings with this motivation of bodhicitta. 所以呢，这么呃，以这样的想法呢，我们以传统的这种嗯、呃、发心呢，在聆听佛法之前的发心是说，啊、呃，我们为了将自己以及所有如母的众生，嗯、呃，带至这个涅槃乐，我们一定要修持佛法。那为了修持佛法，首先我们要闻以及思闻、听闻以及思维佛法。The Dharma that we are listening to this evening is the four dharmas of Gampopa. So the four dharmas of Gampopa are a very short teaching that really give the entire outline or the structure, a basis for the path. They don't teach you the details, but they teach you、uh, where the basic, the basically where we need to go. And the details, of course, we fill in later through other teachings, such as the teachings that Lama Pema gives, or other teachings such as Kempo Lopsang in a couple of weeks or week and a half. So.、Um, The details come later, but really, if we keep these four dharmas in mind,、uh, then it really gives us a, a, a basis for us to do all, to fit all of our other practice inside. 那我们今天晚上要讲的是冈婆巴的四法。那冈婆巴四法呢，是一个非常简短的一个，好像嗯、呃、纲列纲要，告诉我们行持佛法的这个道路，嗯、呃，包括了哪些道路。那它并不是非常、呃、细节的一个教导，但是呢，细节的教导呢，就是呃，从我们可以从拉玛佩玛给予往后给我们的这些教研，以及看 c a m p b e l l Lobson 接下来要给的教研，这些教研里面我们可以摄取多更多的这些细节。但是呢，嗯、呃。如果我们可以将冈婆巴四法，呃，谨记在心上的话呢，我们未来的这些修持都会慢慢的、逐渐的，呃，堆进到这个，嗯，这个纲要里面，让我们可以更完整的来接受他们。So the four dharmas of Gampopa are first, grant your blessings that our mind become the dharma. As we discussed in our first class a few weeks ago, this is about developing the correct or the right worldly view, believing in karma, cause and effect, and realizing that we need to do something now in order to help ourselves in the future, in future lives. As it is often said, this life is short; the other lives are very long. So it is important to prepare for them now. It's like if you want to become a doctor in this life, you have to go through a residency in order, all the difficulty of a residency and all the effort, and then you get the reward of being a doctor. I don't know if that's a reward or not,、um, and it has a lot of work. Maybe it's too much work. At least you get to do something that helps people, unless you want to、uh, just do it to make money and buy Mercedes.、Um, At any rate, there's you know you have you have to do something hard for a short term in order to、uh, gain a, a longer lasting return in the future, and so that's what we're doing with Dharma practice. It's focusing on what's important, which is the future. 
。冈婆巴四法的第一个是愿心相法。那在这里呢，我们之前讲过，呃，这种这个愿心相法的修持呢，就是应该要升起正确的这个呃见解，也就是正正见，也就是因果观。那在这里呢，我们要这样子，嗯、呃。这样子来修持，才有办法在现在，不管是帮助自己还是帮助别人啊、嗯，为了要利益自己，还有嗯，不管是现在还是未来是要利益自己，要升起这样子正确的见解。然后呢，要一再的意念，今生是非常的简短的，所以呢，我们应该要努力的，嗯，为己为未来。铺路，因为未来比今生还长的多了。就像我们在呃考取医师的执照之前，我们需要做这个，嗯，需要做、呃、实习生，做几年的实习生。那做了这么漫长的这个道路呢，是为了往后的这个嗯这个奖励，就是可以做一一位医生。当然呢，这个奖励或许听起来不像奖励，因为它实际上包含了许多重要的职责。但是呢，嗯，如果我们的至少我们是可以呃做到帮助利益他人的这种工作，除非我们的、呃、成为医生的这个呃目标只是为了买一台好的名车，但是呢，至少我们是在做好事。所以呢，呃，无论如何，就是我们现在要努力的为在这个短的期间内努力的去修持，为了未来更长久的这个利益。The second of the four dharmas of Gampopa grant your blessings that the dharma become the path. So what this means is that、uh, the dharma, basically, you know, we do if we do good things, we practice good things, we give up,、uh, we give up、uh, wrong deeds, and we tame our minds. If we're doing this solely for the sake of achieving a happy state in our next lifetime, that of course is very good. But that next lifetime also will come to an end, and if we do not,、uh, and if we, and when it does come to an end, we will just once again fall into the、uh, suffering of samsara. And so it's important for us to free ourselves from sorrow. And so that's this is what it means、uh, by saying that the dharma becomes the path. The dharma becomes something that is a path from samsara to liberation.、Uh, so following the methods of liber.、Uh, Of liberation and wanting to practice dharma in order to free ourselves from samsara. That is the meaning of the second、uh, of the four dharmas. Grant your blessings that the dharma become the path. 那冈婆巴四法的第二个是愿法向道。那在这里呢，我们要着重于就是嗯。Um, 尽量的行善，然后舍弃恶行。在这里呢，我们当然如果是为了。来世而做善行的话呢，是当然是好的动机。但是我们要了解到，来世也有到尽头的一天。所以呢，当来世也呃也已经过去了，我们会一再的堕入轮回当中，那会一再的受轮回的痛苦。所以呢，当我们说愿法向道，也就是说呢，愿嗯、呃、我们可以修持佛法，让这让这个修持呢行为从轮回到解脱的一个道路。所以呢，我们要啊、呃、在这里是要升起、呃、这样的呃修持，就是希希望可以修持佛法来得到解脱，这就是愿法向道。So these first two dharmas talk about what we can also call the paths of the lesser type of individual and the medium type of individual. The lesser type of individual wanting to、uh, bring themselves happiness in the next lifetime. The medium type of individual wanting to bring themselves、uh, the、uh, liberation from samsara. And when we hear these names, we might think to ourselves, "Well, that doesn't sound so good."、Uh, actually, it can be extremely good. These are very good paths. Uh, in comparison to、um, ordinary people who aren't doing anything spiritual at all, they're actually very good paths.、Uh, in comparison to people who are not, who are just go out and、uh, do business and swindle and cheat or go off and do whatever horrible things they're going to do, these motivations are actually very, very good motivations. So they're important for us to have. Uh, and when we call them lesser and medium, this is only in comparison to the next type of individual, the greater type of individual. But we still have to remember that it is actually these are both still extremely good motivations. 
。所以呢，第一个以及第二个这种呃这两种修持呢，叫是我们称为是下士夫以及中士夫的这个修持。下士夫呢，他们修持佛法是为了让自己今生来世得到呃更多的快乐。那中士夫的修持是为了将自己解脱于这个轮回。那当我们说中夏师傅以及中师傅这两个名称，或许听起来不是非常的悦耳，但是呢，我们要知道他们也是很好的修持。那尤其是，嗯，当我们比较于完全不修持佛法的凡夫，以及在外，呃，这个行商奸诈，呃，就是为了呃利益而去呃欺骗他人的这种商人，这种奸诈的行商行为，呃，相比之下，这两种下士夫以及中士夫的修持是非常好的，也是非常嗯、呃、非常重要的一部分。他们只是被称为下士夫以及中士夫，因为他们接下来还有一个阶段是上士夫的修持，所以他们只是在上士夫的旁边略显呃这个逊色而已。但是他们仍然是非常好的修持。Then the third of the four dharma roots grant your blessings that the path dispel confusion. Actually, there are different variations on this line. Another variation of this line is grant your blessings so that the path destroy confusion. Not just dispel, but destroy it. Either way, the meaning is the same.、Uh, what this path is discussing is, even if we bring ourselves happiness in the next lifetime, or we achieve liberation for ourselves, a complete liberation from samsara, this is still only partial. The reason it's only partial is because we're only one person, and if we do things to bring ourselves benefit without benefiting others. Then this is very limited because actually other people are far more numerous than ourselves. Other beings are far more numerous than ourselves, and so if we don't do, if we find liberation for ourselves but do not、uh, do not help them at all, then this is a, a bit selfish. So、uh, this is talking about the motivation of the greater type of individual, the motivation to want to bring all sentient beings. Human, non-human, all sentient beings to the state of lasting happiness, which is Buddhahood. This is the motivation of the greater type of, indi- of individual, and this is the path that is intended in this third line. Grant your blessings that the path dispel confusion. 那第三个呢是愿道断惑。那在这里呢，我们虽然嗯。Um, 我们要了解到，如果我们就算我们达到了将自己的来生带来呃种种利益，或是甚至将自己解脱于轮回，但是呢，这是一个非常嗯、呃、比较狭隘的一种目标，因为呢，这个这两种目标呢，都只有考虑到一个人，就是我们自己，我们并没有利益到他人。那就数量而言的话呢，他人呢是多过于我们自己一个人，所以如当我们解脱了自己。没啊，没有花任何的心思去利益他人的话呢，这是一种非常自私的行为。那如果呢，啊，所以呢，我们接下来更大的这种更广大的目标呢，就是啊，希望所有的众生都可以达到啊不退转的快乐，也就是成就佛果。啊，所有的众生，包括人类以及啊非人类动物等等，那这是。呃，第三个更大的这种上师傅的修持，愿道断惑。Now, with the motivation of the greater individual, there are actually two different levels of practice that we can do, as we discussed a little bit last week.、Um, one level of practice is the practice of the sutras,、uh, which is to study. To listen, to contemplate, to think about the meaning of the sutras, and in Tibetan tradition, to think about the meaning of the treatises that gather the meaning, the teachings that were taught in the sutras, and bring them all into、uh, more easily digestible uh, teachings. Uh, so this is all very important. But sometimes, when you work in this way, it, it it's a very slow process. So for that reason, we also have the teachings of the secret mantra Vajrayana,、uh, which are the teachings that are、uh, that we will be talking about tonight primarily when we discuss the fourth of the four、uh, dharmas of Gampopa. Grant your blessings that confusion arises wisdom. 
。那上师服务的修持呢，有两种，就如我们上周所说的，有金秤的这种修持。那金秤的修持呢，就是依照传统去呃领，嗯，去听闻以及思维佛法。那依照嗯。藏传佛教的传承呢，就是呢，将所有经典的这些教导呢，都浓缩于更容易呃了解的这些呃论籍等等这些教法当中。那这种传统的学习呢是比较长的，然后可能呃比较呃会。比较长的一个道路，所以呢，还有第二种修持，我们说是密乘密乘的这个修持，那这就是我们今天要讲刚波巴四法的最后一个愿惑显智。So the difference we've got the Mahayana teaching that is from the third dharma of Gampopa, and here we have the fourth dharma of Gampopa, which teaches Vajrayana. So you might wonder, well, what is the difference between Mahayana and Vajrayana? Well, actually, they're both Mahayana, because what makes the Mahayana is when you have the motivation of bodhicitta, that is, the motivation to achieve Buddhahood in order to bring all sentient beings to happiness. That's the motivation we call bodhicitta. Now,、uh, there are different ways to do it. As I had just mentioned, there is the sutra way, which is to take the、uh, to study and contemplate. And also to do the activities that、uh, gather the accumulations of merit and wisdom. So making accumulations of merit and wisdom. This is actually kind of Dharma language. It's jargon, basically. So what it really means, the accumulation of merit, is that you make such good habits of doing good things, such strong. You do such powerful good things. You practice generosity. And、even if the generosity might seem a, like a small piece of generosity, you give someone a loony. You think that that is a small act. It can actually be a huge act if you have the right motivation, and if you do it often enough. So you do something with a good med- motivation. You do it often enough, then it makes habits. These habits are what we mean by、uh, by merit. You gather enough merit by、uh, doing enough good, helpful things. And、uh, this makes your mind more able to do the practice. That in here, we just say the Gampopa Four Faith. The third is the Da Cheng of the practice. The fourth Faith is the Jin Gang Cheng of the practice. These two are not. 是呃，异于哪里呢？其实两个都可以算是大乘的修持，因为大乘是什么意思呢？大乘的修持就是拥有菩提心的动机，也就是说，为了呃利益所有的众生，我们希望可以达到佛果。所以呢，这两个的动机是一样的，都是拥有菩提心的。只是呢，第一个我们说，呃，嗯、呃，第上上中说说的这个。金秤的修持呢，是呃，透过累积福德以及智慧资粮。那什么叫做累积福德以及智慧智慧呃资粮呢？这、就是有点佛教用语，但是呢，累积福德的意思呢，其实就是呢，呃，将自己让自己习惯于行善，然后呢，将这个习惯呢，嗯、呃，融入自己的呃这个行为当中。那在我们，譬如说我们在这个布施的时候，我们或许只是给一个给一个最小的铜板，但是呢，呃，看起来或许没什么。但是如果我们是抱着一种很好的、很广大的这种发心去布施的话呢，我们呢都会得到足够的这个资粮，然后得。得到足够的福德资粮，然后一直让我们如果一直重复去做这个动作的话呢，我们的心会慢慢的呃转化，让我们更可以如呃更可以容易的修持佛法。So that's the accumulation of merit. The accumulation of wisdom, basically, to put it simply, just means getting insight into the true nature of reality. 
So this means as we develop our intelligence and our uh, intelligence and our insight into how things actually are through our study and our meditation, uh, then we can really see how things are. Uh, and that just means that as we get more and more insight, this is what we mean by accumulating insights. So that's what we mean by the accumulation of merit and wisdom. So these are two Dharma terms. We don't want to leave them just being jargon. You actually have to have an idea of what they, what they mean. 然后呢，累积智慧资粮是什么意思呢？就是说我们呢，慢慢的去了解这个嗯万物的实相。那要怎么去做呢？就是我们慢慢的让自己的智慧去一点一点的了解啊，每每件事物是他们真实的这个相
很多人都修持一样的这种呃门派，但是呢，在的这个藏传佛教当中呢，就有很多你或许去问不同的行者，有人会在做家行，有的在做呃某个本尊的修持，另一个做不同的本尊，嗯、呃，有的甚至好像什么都没在做，只是在冲浪之类的。反正呢，就是他们有很多不同的这些呃修持。那有一个，呃，举个例子，譬如说，我们将有一种修持是将自身观为本尊。那例如，我们将自己观为观音菩萨，这是因为呢，我们的这个，我们有拥有佛性，所以我们的这原本的这个相貌呢，原本的功德就如观音菩萨是，呃，无二无别的，是相同的。所以呢，我们因为了解，我们已经有这些种种的功德，而我们去这么去观想自身，就与,与观音无。无别的话呢，像我们更容易的可以让这些功德升起，所以呢，我们才会这么去做啊、嗯，这个本尊的观修以及啊、嗯，这个心咒的这些观想等等。Sometimes we also visualize the deities in front of ourselves, like in the green Tara practice in the morning, when we visualize the deities and the green Tara and all of the twenty-one Taras in front of ourselves, we make offerings. We do this to gather the accumulation of merit, which is what I was just spoke, speaking about a few moments ago. We imagine that we are making offerings, that we're offering flowers and so forth. We imagine that we're prostrating and praising uh, Tara, uh, and by doing this, we train ourselves, uh, train our minds in the uh, in a positive direction. We are gathering the accumulation of merit, and so these are some of the various methods that we do. Now, sometimes people have、uh, doubts about these methods. You wonder how can this possibly work. You think to yourself, "Well, you know, I'm not really Avalokiteshvara, or I'm not really the Medicine Buddha, or I'm not really that deity, or whatever." But actually, this is just that we have impure perceptions of ourselves. When we view ourselves as being the deity, actually, we're viewing ourselves in a pure form. The reason that this is our pure form is because we have Buddha nature. That Buddha nature is exactly the same as a Buddha's Buddha nature. There is not any difference at all, other than the fact that we don't look at our Buddha nature. We don't know about it. And so, if we practice by imagining ourselves as the deity, and you have the confidence of thinking to yourself, "I am Avalokiteshvara. I am Green Tara." I am the medicine Buddha. If you have that confidence and you visualize yourself as the deity, then there's no doubt that will、uh, really help you quickly develop the qualities. And if you're diligent enough, even to become the Buddha in this lifetime. That sometimes we will do um. 除了观修自身是本为本尊之外，我们还会观修本尊就在我们的前方，然后我们献上种种的供养来累积我们的刚刚所说的累积我们的福德资粮。那在这时候，我们或许会，嗯、呃，早上我们在修杜母的时候，我们会观想，呃，杜母在我们的面前，我们对他献花，我们礼敬他，我们礼赞他，等等。那这这种，呃，观想呢，就是将我们的心以一个。正确的或是呃良好的这种方向去去这个、呃、训练，让我们呢透过这种观修这种想象来累积我们的福德资粮。那有时候我们或许会想说，这这种方法真的有用吗？因为我并不是我真的不是啊、呃，实际上并不是观世音菩萨，或是我并不是药师佛。但是我们会这么想呢，是因为我们有一种啊。呃参染着这杂染的这种呃见解，这种观念，但是呢，如果我们呢可以，我们这么去观修自身为本尊，其实就是在，呃，看我们自己清净的面貌。因为我们呢拥有佛性，所以我们本来的面貌就是跟佛陀一样的。因为我们的佛性跟他们的佛性是一模一样的，所以当然我们就跟啊、呃、佛菩萨是一模一样的。那当我们这么去修持，然后并且拥有信心，说、呃、想说，没错，我就是跟杜母一样，我跟啊、呃、观世音菩萨一样，我跟药师佛无二无别。那这么去修持的话，那我们无疑的会获得很多利益，我们可以迅速。的啊，发展这些种种的功德。那如果我们足够精进、精进去修持的话，我们甚至可以提升成佛。
Now another difficulty that sometimes people have with these practices is that some people just have trouble visualizing. Some people, it's very easy, they can easily picture themselves as the deity, they can easily imagine the deity in front of themselves, and some people can't. It's just difference in the way our bodies and our minds are made up. And so, if you do the visualization practice, and no matter how hard you try, you just can't see yourself as anything, not even yourself, let alone as, you know, if you can't, visual, if you can't do the visualization at all, don't worry about it. The most important thing is that you have the confidence, I am uh, Chen Rizik, I am the deity. And if you have that confidence, you will gradually develop the qualities. The visualization is a tool, uh, and it's not so important that it be clear or not. Uh, of course, it's uh, said to be best if it's clear, but if it's not, you shouldn't be worried. Uh, the important thing is that you understand that you and the visualization are indivisible from each other. And this is called the pride of the deity. And this is one of the characteristics of doing the visualizations or the creation stage practices.那有令或许在修持这种方法的时候也有常常见的另一种这种困扰就是有的人没有办法非常清晰的去做观想有的人当然对于观想自身为本尊或是观想本尊在前方是觉得说是轻而易举的事情但是有的不管他们多么努力的
大致上都是呃念诵的够慢的，是有办法有足够的时间让各位、呃、这个读它的这个翻译以及它的这个内容的。但是如果还是跟不上的话呢，其实我们只要来多来几次也是跟得上，也是可以了解其中的内容的。那马哈卡拉的话呢，嗯、呃，这个在。法本的后面其实有已经有注解是《创古人波切》的开示，然后也翻译为英文和中文了。那这个呢，这些注解呢，只要我们在不管是嗯下课后的二十分钟，或是提早个三十分钟来，都可以阅读。那阅读之后，我们就有办法掌握说，呃，这个仪轨大致是呃在做什么，里面有什么内容。所以呢，嗯，我们呃。这样子的话呢，就可以为我们解惑了。如果我们在修持这个早课以及晚课有这种困惑的话，其实就是花一点时间，提早或是嗯留下来看看法本，就可以解决解决这个问题了。So when we talk about the Vajrayana, the some of the methods are those the visualization practices. Those are the ones that I think people initially think of most. But actually, when we practice the Vajrayana, we can think about it in terms of being the ground, the path, and the result. So the ground of the, Mah- of the Vajrayana practice is realizing that your mind is not any different from anyone else's mind. They are not two. They are not different. In terms of how things appear in our relative interdependent appearances of the world, it seems to li- us like. Our minds are different. My mind and someone else's mind is different. But ultimately, when we li- really look at how the mind actually is, then the nature of the mind is the same. The nature of my mind is the same as your minds. Our minds are all the same as anyone else's minds. The nature, and so uh, the, the realizing this uh, is the. Uh, is the nature uh, is the basis of our practice. It's realizing that there really is no self or no other. <音>那在这里呢，金刚秤的这个修持的这些、呃、种种法门，当然最所最先会想到的就是我所说呃刚刚诉说的这种观想的这种修持。那其实呢，还有另一种<咳>可以来解说金刚秤的这个修持，呃，可以分为积、道、果。这三个部分，那基的部分呢，就是要去呃了解说，呃，我一个一个人的心，其实和任何其他的人都是一模一样的，并不是两个不一样的东西。那当然，在这个嗯相对的这个世界，我们会看到我的心好像跟你的不一样，跟他的不一样，好像是两个不一样的东西，我们想着不一样的东西。但是呢，其实呢，就近上来说呢，我们的心的这个心性是一模一样的，我的跟你是一。模。模一样的，所以如果我们可以去了解，嗯、呃，到这一点呢，这就是成为了我们修持金刚秤的这个基础，呃，叫称为基，也就是了解到，嗯、呃，没有我或是他之分。So that is the ground, and then the path. Path, as we just as in the previous weeks, we talked about the view, conduct, a、uh, view, meditation, and conduct and result. Likewise, we also here have the view, meditation, conduct, and result for the Vajrayana. So the view, which means the basic understanding that we need to have, the view here is the view of Mahamudra. 那这个道呢，也就是我们要行驶的道路，就像我们之前所说的，有这个见、修、行以及果，呃，四种，呃，这个可以分为四类。那在这里呢，金刚秤的见呢，正见就是，嗯、呃，这个。我们应该拥有的基础的这种呃见解，也就是大手印的见解。So the view of Mahamudra, when we say Mahamudra, basically we're talking about the nature of everything. It's called the Mahamudra means the great seal. It's like a seal that you stamp something, you put a little chop on everything, or a seal that you、uh, seal uh, that. Uh, that says this is really what it、uh, really is. It's like when the king makes a pro- proclamation, then they put the seal on the bottom, and you know it's really the seal. 
So the great seal is the seal that uh, stamps all phenomena in existence. So it is, your, uh, it is the nature of all phenomena.那什么叫做大手印的见解呢首先大手印呢其实就是在诉说万法的这个本性那为什么叫做大手印呢印就是呢好像我们说印章一般的像皇上的这个玉玺它在它有一个诏书它会盖上玉玺印上这个印龙印
uh, if we do actually directly look at our mind, what is it like? So the instructions on Mahamudra tell us how to look at our mind. We try to look and see, does it have a shape? Does it have a color? Is it red? Is it blue? Is it a square? Is it a triangle? What is it like? How, we try to develop some sort of an experience of what our mind is like. When we look for it, we, uh, we can't find anything. We can't find anything that's any, that, that is red or blue or green or black that is our mind. We can't find any square or circle or triangle that is our mind. But we still keep experiencing things. Our mind does not cease. We look for our mind in different parts of our body and we can't find it anywhere. And yet, we continue to know our mind is unceasing. We cannot find the mind and yet it is continuously there. So we can experience this through our uh, meditation. It's important for us not just to understand this intellectually, we also have to develop a true experience of it. Now,当我们将这个我们的这个觉知作为道用的时候呢,我们就是要好好的检视自心,那就是呢,透过禅修,然后观察我们的心性。那我们在这里会发现我们虽然常常将事物视为好坏之分或是不断的去做许多的计划我们会发现这些种种的想法是不停息的但是当我们去看我们的心我们去检视它到底是什么东西它的颜色是红的吗是蓝的是它的形状是方的是三角形的我们会发现我们根本就没有办法琢磨它我们会发现它不是红的不是蓝的不是绿的不是黑的它不是圆的不是方的不是三角形的但是呢它什么都不是但是呢它却无止境的一直存在我们找
看到片段的这个呃这个这种新的真实的样样貌。那当我们看到片段了，我们在持之以恒，我们就会达达到真正的这个了悟正悟。那正悟的，也就是说呢，我们真正的彻底的了解了，也非常的确确认我们看见了新的本性，看到它如本原本的这个实实貌。然后呢，也不用任何人告诉我们说心应该是如何的，我们非常的确信它就是如此。然后呢，也就是因为我们确实的看到它的样貌了，所以自然而然的知道它是如此。So this is the view that we need to develop, the view of Mahamudra. We need to develop it. Once we've developed, we need to increase it, and when we've increased it, we need to stabilize it. And so, for that reason, we do meditation. So the meditation is, as Rinpoche,、uh, Rinpoche has said, it's、um, realizing that emptiness and interdependence come to the same point. There's no need to look elsewhere. You don't need to look anywhere else. You don't need anyone else to tell you anything, to teach you anything. You have to look at your own mind to see what it is, to see that the emptiness and the interdependence are the same thing.、And、so this is why we do all the meditation practices. As, you,、uh, as we begin, if your mind is not stable, then you can do the shine or the shamatha practice, the calm abiding practice to develop stability of your mind, which is basically just just basic sitting meditation. Sitting and counting your breaths, or so forth, and then you can,、uh, in order to uh, purify uh, purify your being, you can do the、uh, preliminary practices. The,、uh, you go for refuge, develop bodhicitta. You do vajrasattva,、uh, the vajrasattva practice. If you have many thoughts or you encounter obstacles. If you need to gather the accumulation of merit, you do mandala practice. And if you want to increase your devotion, you do the guru yoga and you visualize taking the four empowerments. All of these are aids to help us、uh, develop realization,、uh, to develop the view, to increase it, and to stab、uh, stabilize our、uh, stabilize our view. 那我们要要升起这样正确的大手印的见解呢，就要去开发这种嗯这种见解，然后让它呃增长，然后渐渐的让它平稳下来。那要达到这样的效果，我们就要透过禅修。那就像仁波切呃所说过的，要了要了悟空性以及因缘法的话呢，嗯、呃，就是嗯不用看，不用再。观察其他的事物，就只要观察自己的心性，就会了悟到他们两者是相同的。那在这里有非常多的这些方便可以做，比如说我们觉得我们的心没有办法静下来，我们就可以做止的禅修。那止的禅修呢，就是就是静静的，就是静坐，基本上就是静坐，然后数息，数自己的这个气息进出等等的，这样子让心。慢慢的静下来。那如果我们觉得说我们有太多的业障，需要做一些清楚的呃净化的话呢，我们可以透过呃这个皈依以及金刚萨埵的这些呃修持。那如果想我们觉得我们的福德功德不够的话呢，资粮不够的话，我们就透过共曼达的这种修持。那如果想要增长自己的信心的话，则是透过上师瑜伽啊来观修四灌顶等等。那这些都是让我们的心。可以呃开发这种呃证件，然后慢让令其增长，然后直至可以稳定。就是这个过程的来说呢，这四个以上都是对于这个过程的帮助的辅助。So there are many different practices that we do, and many of you are doing the Ngundro preliminary practices.、Uh, whichever practice you're doing.、Um, It's important to have it with this view, and to, to to work at it to try to stabilize your practice, to develop the view, stabilize, develop your,、uh, increase your practice, develop your realization, and、uh, it's important for us to develop our devotion. Now, devotion is a word we use a lot in the Vajrayana, and sometimes people think of it as being in kind of a funny way. We talk about having devotion for your guru. When we talk about devotion for the guru, I think some people it might start to sound like we're in some sort of a cult that we you must do everything the guru says. You must、uh, be like a robot who only follows the guru's instructions and not think for yourself. But that's not what we mean by devotion. Devotion means knowing what you're doing, understanding that 
the person who's teaching you the Dharma is giving you instructions that are going to benefit you. And so you have devotion because you know that these instructions are going to bring you benefit. Because you feel that, uh, that the, you know that the instructions are important, then you yourself feel devotion for the person and particularly for the instructions uh, that they are going to give you. Nam 那在这里我们常常说前进心我们理解说这位上师或是教导我们法教的这位老师他在教我们的这些教言是实际上对我们有利益的So we go for refuge, we, we have devotion for the guru, for the teacher. The reason we have it is because the teacher can teach us. We do not have a, a devotion in the guru because we think that the guru is a perfect person. When we look at the gurus, we see that the gurus, we may see that the gurus have faults because they appear in our relative, you know, we look at, frankly, as humans, uh, we normally see faults in almost anyone other than ourselves. The only people most people don't see faults in is themselves. Uh, so, and if you look at anyone else, including your gurus, and see what you appear as a fault, uh, what appears to you as a fault, it's probably that you're actually seeing a reflection of yourself. In any case, we are not going to, uh, we do not have devotion because, to our gurus because we think they are attractive or nice. We shouldn't lose uh, devotion for our gurus because they sometimes lose their tempers or seem like they get angry. Um, uh, we, the devotion isn't about that. Devotion is for the dharma that the guru is going to teach us. And we need to recognize that the guru is giving us the instructions that have been passed down for thousands of years since the Buddha Shakyamuni. So these are instructions that are coming, that, uh, that over thousands of years have brought uh, untold numbers of beings to, uh, to the state of enlightenment. And now we're getting them from the guru. And so that is why we have devotion for our gurus. So you know, woman do it just here, uh, Dao Shi, just 给予我们这些珍贵的教导然后当他们生气的时候now another thing that many of you uh, in the past, several of you in the past have 
mentioned to me is sometimes you have connections with other gurus. You might have uh, connections with Jason Kusho who comes up here, or you might have um, some other Dharma center, some Mahayana temple that you go to. You might feel devotion for them, and you might feel like there's some conflict between them. You don't know, should you go to one or should you only be one and not another? We are not exclusive here. Uh, you, can, you should do whatever is good. All of the Dharma is good. It is all beneficial. Uh, and so you need to practice the Dharma that works for you. If the Dharma that I'm teaching or that Lama Pema teaching so that, or that uh, Tanga Rinpoche teaches sounds nice to you but it doesn't really strike you in your heart, but you go to another temple and you meet another teacher and what they say makes immediate sense to you, then, you know, fine, that's great. Or if they both make incredible sense, that's great. The teachings are not contradictory. And so it's okay to, uh, to, to see different teachers and to, and to do th different things like that. We're not trying to say that thou shalt be a member of Trangu Monastery and nowhere else. That is not our attitude in any way. It's like the main thing is you have to do what is going to bring you benefit. And you can tell. What is, who is it who's explaining the Dharma in a way that you can understand? That's the person that you need to take teachings from. And it doesn't matter, you know, it can be, uh, you know, someone sitting on a high throne. It might be someone in the back of the room. Uh, you, it doesn't really matter. As long as you feel like you are learning the Dharma that really benefits you and benefits others, that is what you need to look for. Now 但是呢这些都不重要我们并不是说你一定只能遵循一位在这里呢所有的佛法都是一样的都是一样的好一样的可以利益他人的所以呢或许呢你来这里听了我说法或是听拉玛佩玛讲法听川国人婆界讲法你
那嗯，其中一个另一个要素呢，就是呢，我们应该要跟我们的道友们都和和睦的相处。那那在在这个中心，我看到的，以我所见是，都是大家都是非常的和睦的。呃，除了或许现在正的我在在说这一句话的时候，突然皱眉头的几位，但是呢，我觉得大家在这里呢都是非常和睦的。但是呢，嗯，在这个佛教中佛学中心，不管是这里还是其他的佛学中心，当然会。遇到一些人，他们的这个嗯性质或许比较直率，或是啊、嗯、我们觉得比较粗鲁，然后呢对我们讲了啊、嗯，或是逆摸了我们的毛，不管他们做了什么还是说了什么，那其实这些都没都是没什么大不了的事。我们要了解到说，我们在这里聚在一起，最重要的就是要可以和睦相处啊、嗯。然后呢，和如果我们可以呃、嗯、让整个。佛学中心都和合的话呢，我们才有办法一同的在这个佛法的道路上前行进步。So that was、uh, the discussion of the meditation. We have the view, meditation, and conduct. So for the Vajrayana, the conduct means、uh, that when you when you are able to take everything that happens to you as part of the path and use it as an aid to your practice, that is the conduct. This is seeing that every situation presents you an opportunity to practice. It presents an opportunity if you realize that it all comes down to your mind, and if you can take control and work with your mind in every situation, that is the conduct. So we have meditation means what we do when we're practicing meditation, doing puja, and so forth. When we are、uh, outside of outside of this, then th- that's the conduct, and this is when we want to try to take control of our mind. When we want to be, a- when we realize that when there is a conflict with someone, or something good happens, or something bad happens, if we realize that that is all just in our own mind, we can realize、uh, that it is nothing other than the nature of our mind. And does not have any existence outside of our mind, then、uh, we will be able to take it as part of our path and practice, and so that is the conduct. So, we just finished the discussion of the Jin Gang Cheng Rules, the right guidelines, and the practice of Jin Yi and Shou. Next is the action part. 那在这里呢，就是嗯，任何行为可以帮助于我们在这个嗯，在修以外的时候呢，可以帮助于我们不离这个正见的，都是我们应该所做的行为。比如说，嗯，我们在每一种呃、嗯、情况下都要了解说，嗯，所有的事情都是由我们的心而升起的，在每然后呢，以这种每一个机会都可以这样子去修持。所以，换句话说，当我们在修的时候，或许在呃，在一个在修法的时候是修的部分，那下座的时候都是都是行的部分。所以呢，呃，例如说，我们看到了其他人有好的行为或是坏的行为，我们就要想说，这这种区分都是源自于我们的自心。那除了在我们的心中有这样的区分，有好坏之分，呃，在外面其实没有好坏之分。Now we've had the view, meditation, and conduct. The result of all of our practice is to、uh, is to achieve what is said to be overcoming the maras and ignorance. So the maras means like demons. Is that often one way we translate it in English? What we mean by demons or maras? If you talk about the, Bu- the story of the Buddha awakening, there all the the Maras came and they、uh, sent the hordes of people,、uh, hordes of demons who who cast arrows and so forth at the Buddha, but they all turned into flowers and so forth. And so we think of the Maras as being something outside of ourselves, but that's not what a Mara means. What I really like is an explanation given by Geshe Potawa. He says. A Mara is not some dark-skinned, grotesque being outside of yourself. A Mara is your own inability to practice the Dharma. This is what we need to overcome. It's not something outside of ourselves. There's no one who's stopping us from、uh, practicing the Dharma and realizing our nature and becoming our Buddhas, other than ourselves. Really, when you look about it, what does it? What really is the reason why we are not Buddhas now? It's because we haven't done the practice, and why haven't we done the practice? It's because we are too distracted, basically. 
when it comes down to it. We need to overcome all of those distractions and apply ourselves to our practice, and then we can achieve the result, overcoming the distractions, overcoming ignorance, and, and gaining the wisdom of a Buddha.那这么去修持的话会得到什么样的结果呢实在有实行的这种魔但是这种无能呢让我们分心的事物 So over the last four weeks we've talked about these four dharmas of Gampopa and I think for me the main uh, thing that I want to say is that you need to figure out where you are Look at yourself honestly. See what is your motivation actually. Look at that carefully. And whatever your motivation is, that is good. Uh, if you're having the motiv- I know that you all have the motivation, to, the interest or the motivation for the Dharma just by the fact that you're here. So what level of motivation do you have? Then what can we do to maybe improve it or to maintain or improve our motivations? Uh, there's no limit to what, what we can do with our dharma practice. We, the only limit is coming to Buddha, Buddhahood, which is no limit. So we have to get from here to that point. But we don't get there in one day. We don't say, I'm going to be a Buddha, head, Buddha, Buddha tomorrow and get there without doing anything. We have to do something to get there. And the way we do that is we take one step at a time. We walk, walk along the step a step at a time. And you need to do the practice and have the focus that is appropriate for where you are. Because if you try to do the practice of a great, uh, uh, of a great master like Tilopa or Naropa, you're not going to get very far, frankly. You're probably going to go backwards. But if you do the practice that is right for you right now, you can take another step and then do a slightly more uh, slightly more advanced practice and do a, take another step and you take step after step after step and that is the way you make uh, the make uh, progress in your practice 那在过去的这几周呢这四周就讲完了刚破八的四法那我在这里想要声明的最重要的这个我们要首先要做的这个一件事呢就是要清楚地了解自己是处于哪一个阶段了解我们的阶段我们要去了解如何去让它恒持甚至让它进步这样子呢我们才有办法逐渐的达到这个正悟一步一步的往上爬所以呢不管我们现在
下一步的这为下一步打造足够的基础，让我们一步一步的渐训的修持上去。So when you look at yourself and examine yourself to see what what actually is your motivation, what is your level of practice, how much do you really believe in karmic cause and effect?、Uh, you need to take a look at this see,、uh, and see how much do you want to do. You really want to free yourselves from samsara?、Uh, do you really want? If you don't want to free yourselves from samsara, can you really develop、um, bodhicitta? You need to look and see where you are. But you also have to work with where you are. Rinpoche、uh, has said、uh, he just said it a few weeks ago to to someone. Trungpa Rinpoche said that he doesn't. Many lamas teach that you have to give up everything and just focus entirely on the Dharma practice. But Rinpoche has never felt that. Any bit of practice you do is good. You can practice no matter what situation of life you are in. And in fact, if you think to yourself that you have to give up everything right now, and you rush off to a mountain cave to practice, you aren't going to do so well with it because you may not be ready for it. So you have to work with where you are.、Uh, do the dharma that you can do in this lifetime. If the dharma that you can do in this lifetime is limited, you have still done something. Even if you only recite the Om Mani Padme Hum mantra a hundred times, at least when you die, okay, I have at least recited this mantra a hundred times. If you have begun the four preliminaries and you have done ten thousand prostrations, that is excellent. If you've done a hundred thousand, that is excellent. If you have finished all four of the preliminaries, that is excellent. If you have done all of the other guru yogas and all of the other practices, that is excellent. No matter how much practice you have done, it is all excellent. 所以呢，首先我们要检视自己，我们现在是。处于哪一个阶段的行持？那我们呢？可以怎么解释呢？我们可以去思维，我们到底对因果有多么的相信它的存在，或是它的这个呃这种逻辑？我们可以去思思维，我们到底有多么的呃迫切的渴望，可以将自己从轮回中解脱出来，或是说，我们可以去思维，我们有没有办法真正升起啊、呃、我们所说的这种菩提心？那就像仁波切几周前给啊、呃、给了弟子一直一个教言，他说呢，嗯、呃，很多上师虽然很多上师都是劝导人家说，我们必须要舍弃今生的、呃、一切而去做行持，但仁波切从来没有这么认为，他认为我们生活中的一点一滴都可以成为我们很好的行持。不管我们今生遇到什么，都可以成为我们的行持。那有的人或许会听了一些上师的教言，就觉得说要强迫自己到深山里去啊闭、呃、关，然后做修持佛法，这样才是真正呃有。有这个过度一个有利益的、有意义的人生，但是或许他本身还没做好准备，就算他到了深山，也不会有多大的成就。所以在这里，不管我们这一生，呃，可以做什么，最重要的就是做我们这一生可以做的，及我们所立可以做，不管是念诵《Om Mani Padme Hum》一百次，还是、呃、做了大礼拜，做个一万次，甚至十万次，我们供了啊、呃、曼达，我们做了上师瑜伽，不管我们做。Now the danger is you're going to think to yourself, "Okay, I've said a hundred on Mani Padme Hum. That's excellent. I can go home and not practice. That's fine." 当然呢，在这里有些人可能会松了太大的一口气，会想说：“哦，他刚刚只说只要念一百个 Om Mani Padme Hum， 我做完了，我可以回家了。” It really depends upon how strong your motivation is, and so what's really most important all the time is to keep thinking about your motivation. You have to remember how precious an opportunity we have now. We have to take advantage of it. We can take advantage of this、uh, opportunity no matter what external form your life is. You don't have to be a monk to practice the,、uh, Buddhism. You don't even have to be a nun. The first Tibetan to become a Buddha was a woman, Yeshe Tsogyo. And so, she was not a monk. She was not a nun. She was、uh, she was、uh, the Guru Rinpoche's wife.、Uh, and it, anyone can do it. We but we have to try to do it. And it doesn't matter what、uh, 
uh, whether you're a householder or not, you might be a yogi, you might not. Whatever, you, whatever our uh, external form our life takes, what's most important is what we do with our minds. And that really comes down to our motivations.那其实呢最主要的取决性的这个要素就是在于我们的动机所以呢我们要一再的去思维我们的动机不管我们要去思维说我们现在有了这个非常难得的机会不管我们现在的这个外形是如何我们是不是出家人还是在家众我们是僧
机会，呃，这个这种机会可以修持佛法，它并不是就恒持的，并不会长久。所以呢，呃，最好的修持呢，就是不管我们是要提供某种服务，还是要布施、要做禅修，或是要呃行持戒律等等，我们最主要的就是呃要做这些，然后背后要有一个好的动机。如果可以保持着，要利益自身以及他人的这种动机，这绝对是会对于我们有自呃有利益的。So I think I've said most of what I feel like I need to say tonight, unless there's something that's not clear and you'd like to ask some questions. 那我想我已经讲了我所想要讲的话。如果任何人有不清楚的部分，可以提问。Yes, I think that we have a microphone coming soon. So my question might be ridiculous.、Um, when you talk about、uh, we study、uh, Dharma in this lifetime, say we, of course, I don't know some of you. I I don't know whether how many people were achieve Buddhahood in one lifetime. What if you don't achieve Buddhahood? What you have done in this lifetime is it going to be wiped out?、Uh, before I I I have to explain why I come to this、uh, this question is. I have a friend of mine. This is actually a true thing. Once、uh, she went to a, a Tibetan temple in Hong Kong. After she left the temple, her soul injected ejected from her mind. That she described the whole thing. She was in the halfway of the air, and、uh, and finally, she she finally got it back somehow. She went back to the temple, asked for the Lama to pray for her, and her soul came back. But she told me during that time she forgot most of the stuff. She forgot to the point that she forgot how to press the elevator for the floor she was living in. So she said she forgot most of the thing about life as it is. So she she could only like the very very little minimum knowledge she could. Keep in her mind. So that's why my question is: like, if we don't achieve, are we going to forget all we have learned in this life? Do you want to translate the question first? Sure. 那这个问题是关于，如果我们今生在修持佛法的过程中没有办法即生成佛，没有办法证悟的话呢，那是不是在来世呢，我们所有的这些学所学习过的佛法都会呃忘却掉呢？因为呢，会这么问是因为呢，有一个朋友在香港，他去了香港的这个呃佛教中心还是佛寺，然后呢，他有一个经历，就是他觉得他好像灵魂出窍了，然后呢，当时呢，后来最后是有。请他的家人，他的家人也回去，请着请僧众为他呃这个做。做法祈祈福，然后后来有回回复神事，但是当他在灵魂出窍的时候，他觉得说他已经忘记了所有的事情，生活的这些基本常识，例如说，呃，他呃几乎不记得说，呃，要坐这个电梯要按按哪一楼等等的，所以呢，会觉得说，那是不是当我们嗯、呃、在经历死亡后，到了下一世就会忘却我们今世所学的所有的东西呢？ I think the it won't go to waste. No matter what you've done, even if you don't remember it at that very moment, it's still there. The question is, what are we going to do that will make sure that when we die in this lifetime, that some bad karma from the past doesn't ripen upon us at that point? And so we need to train ourselves as much as we can in this lifetime. Even reciting a single mani is said to be enough. Uh, what's, uh, if you do it with the right attitude, of course. There's a story about a, a Tibetan guy who、uh, realized he was about to die,、uh, and so he went to a lama and he confessed and he said, "I've only killed 17 people in this lifetime, uh, so uh, give me the empowerment." And he wrote, recited a, a hundred mani、uh, mani mantras, and he passed away. And it said that because of that, he was actually reborn in a pure realm, even though he had already killed 70 people, 17 people in this lifetime. So even a little bit can have a great, uh, great, uh, great effect. 
But the more you do, and the more continually you do it, the stronger the habits you have in yourself. The stronger those habits you have, the more likely that they are to uh, ripen uh, upon your death and bring you into a good situation where you can continue your Dharma practice in the future. And what's especially important is to, uh, to actually to, to train yourself for dying. So it's to do like the uh, Tong Len visualization that I described last week. Uh, to train in that and so that you can train in that when you go to sleep and so forth so that when you come to the moment of death you have enough presence of mind to be able to do that meditation and that will serve you very well at the time of death. The most important thing is it is your state of mind at the time of death and if you can always practice while you're living having a good state of mind then at the time of death you'll have a better chance of having a good state of mind and uh, not forgetting not or not backsliding shall we say you won't forget but you might backslide a little bit na lama shi shuo ne qi shi zhe ye bu hui shuo um 他在我们死亡的那一刻也是存在的往生净土的所以其实不管我们做什么一个很好的修持那就会达到非常好的效果突然退失掉或是失去他原有的应该有的这个力量 Are there any other questions? 他有任何问题吗? Then if not, um, let us now first uh, dedicate uh, the merit and then I have a little gift for everyone but let's uh, recite the dedication and aspiration prayers first as you recite them, please think to yourself that uh, we've now spent the last four weeks, some people for every class, some people for a few classes. However much you have done, however much Dharma you've done, however many good things you've ever done, however many good things anyone has ever done, let's now dedicate all of them for the sake of all sentient beings, so that all sentient beings may be happy, so that they may be that they may achieve the state of Buddhahood. And, and until the time that they achieve a Buddhahood, may they be free of all illness, plague, famine, and war. Now, uh, 
解愿品要想要送给大家。那在这里呢，首先回向的部分，请大家呃这么去意念，像不管我们在。过去的四周所说的法，不管我们参加了全程还是只有其中的几堂课，嗯，将所有的功德，呃，或是说我们所有呃，我我们这一生一直以来所做的所有的好事、所有的善事的功德，呃，回向给或甚至是所有众生所做的善德，啊、呃，我们都回向给所有的众生，希望他们快乐，以致呃，可以直到可以成成就佛果。那在那之前呢，没有。有任何的痛苦，不闻这个，不闻呃病痛啊，或是呃饥荒、灾难等等这些痛苦，那是以此意念来做一个回向。This is on page fifty-two of the Golden Book， 第五十三页。我是南无地藏菩萨。Of you, I want to explain it. Little、uh, cards with、uh, portrait pictures, paintings of Milarepa.、Uh, this painting was done by the Gyawang Karmapa in 2000. What was it? 2010.、Um, so Milarepa is a great Tibetan yogi, and there is some Tibetan writing here. So you need to know what the writing says. I need to remind myself. It's so small and hard to read.、Um, <laughs> It says, "Firmly establish uh, the uh, the feet of、uh, the feet of meditation,、uh, which are revulsion, devotion, devotion, and、uh, non-distraction." So, firmly establish the feet of、uh, revulsion, devotion, and、uh, non-distraction. That here, I give you. 准备的结缘品呢，是一个弥勒日巴的法相。弥勒日巴是藏地一位非常呃杰出的成就者。然后这个法相是由大宝法王在二零一零年所画的。那他在这里旁边有几行这个藏文字，是写我们要了解是什么意思。那是说翻译过来的话，就是呢，让我们可以稳固我们的呃修这个修行足、修行的脚。那修行的足是什么呢？就是出离心、前进心以及不放逸。So first of all, I'd like to give one to translator. Thank you very much, Jeff, for. 谢谢翻译。So please.
hopefully don't. I don't want to keep um, everybody too long because Karma Chappell has given you so much more than what I can, but I do want to say thank you for coming again to our monastery and for sharing what you can share. Um, uh, <laughs> I haven't thought of it, but I did want to say thank you on behalf of all of the members, and we do hope that you can come back. Um, every year to teach us. So Karma Chappell is leaving tomorrow, right? Is that correct? So if everyone could give a beautiful round of applause to show our appreciation for him coming and generously giving us teachings. That wasn't the original intention of his uh, trip here. So we do appreciate all of the effort. Thank you very much. Thank you all. And I, I did say to, to you a few weeks ago that I thought and I felt that the Dharma had helped you become a happier person. The reason I said that is because when you teach, I can feel the hope of the Dharma within myself. And I know it can bring us all benefit. That does come across when you teach for yourself. So I'm very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like I should say something, but what is there to say? <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to come back. Who knows what will happen? Sometimes Maybe I'll die tomorrow. No, <laughs> I'm giving all of this away.